dog as a pet or for security reasons, as a pet, it is totally prohibited. The Prophet said, alayhi salatu uh, that angels do not enter a house where there's a portrait, a statue, or a dog. And he said that whoever keeps a dog other than a dog of uh, uh, a shepherd dog or a dog for hunting or guarding, then each day out of his own good deeds, Allah will erase and deduct the weight of Mount Uhud of good deeds, of Hasanat. A friend of mine, a relative <coughs> actually, who has a chihuahua in his house. And so many times we tried, our relatives tried to give him advice and he said, oh, it's cute, it's lovely, it's this, it's that. So I said to him, listen, do you have enough good deeds every single day that would equal Mount Uhud in Hasanat? He said, not even one-tenth of that. I said to him, then in this case, you're in debt because every day this is being erased and deducted from your good deeds. And this, my friend, means that you're in real deep trouble. So this is not permissible. Now, for security reasons, this is permissible, providing that these reasons are legitimate. So again, keeping a chihuahua in your house is not a security reason. People unironically believe this. It can this. be eaten what by cat. are you talking about? That? So if you have a German Shepherd, a Doberman, something that is really vicious, and there is a need for it, that you are in a really disturbed environment or neighborhood, that you fear for your life, and without that, they will not be deterred from breaking into your house. This seems to be permissible, providing that you keep the dog outside the house and not allowing it to enter the house, and Allah knows best. But if I have a dog that works as a jester, for my amusement, We're not careful.